Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to coverage of the Otacon Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza hosted by Pro Play Games. I'm Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. MBT, alongside Gage, a.k.a. Nim Nim. Nim, -nim. At Nim Nim, that's me. That, that's the boy. That's my boy. We are, we are going back. on to top four, Joseph. Top the semi-final four? match. Damn. Yeah. We have been through six rounds of Swiss. This is our second round of top cut. Uh, next up is the final. Whoever wins this match will be moving on to the ultimate prize. And uh, I've got some terrible news. Uh, as you all know, our top eight was pretty set in stone. It was a couple tri brigades, a couple Drytrons, a Striker, an Adagnister, and I am reticent to inform you the deck that we did not know was Mathmech. Mathmech in top eight. Math dude. We were made told top after top. that Josh had actually wiped out the Mathmech guy. And uh, yeah, we didn't get to see him, man. We were the only wild card. We didn't know what he was on. Yeah. But it looks like the players are ready to go. And for some less thrilling gameplay, not involving any math, we are not doing any calculating. Instead, right, we so are wait, going wait, to wait. The don't miss the Don't miss the die roll. Don't miss the die roll. Okay. All right, who, who won the die roll? Oh, I don't know, we'll find out. Whoever summons God. the first card, they're gonna win the match. Okay, so this is a Drytron Mirror, and if you've never played these, it's maybe the most skilled Yu-Gi-Oh you can play, uh, probably in the last three or four formats. You know, um, a lot of decks like Striker, all, as people attribute like uh, a high degree of skill to, I'd argue that Drytron has the highest skill uh, of any of these mirrors. Um, oh my god, oh. and Logan Adams won the die congratulations, congratulations to our finalist. Logan. He's going to Lo the just unbelievable, wow. <laughs> I, oh gosh, can we actually check out the other match? Can we just see that? <laughs> we are overemphasizing. There still is a lot of intricacies in this play. But the thing is, is like, uh, they're pretty straightforward. If you can set up your board, it's almost impossible for the other opposing Drytron to crack it. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, our other match is, uh, I, what is Willie Newsom on? Do we have his list? Willie is on that try, Zoo. Okay, so our other match is Trizu versus Adagnister. Okay. So at minimum, we are guaranteed uh, something else in finals. Uh, but this is this is actually a, a super sick uh, match. Uh, Logan is a very good player. Um, Josh is being also Soldier very, TV. He is very very good. I mean, too. these are two very uh, good, uh, intelligent. Uh, well-mannered <laughs> Drytron players. Yes. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, their decks uh, do kind of play themselves. This very much could be a battle of the wits here. They're yeah. both very, very, very skilled players. What are you doing? Why are you making that okay. bigger? Do, do I, I want it bigger. You are silly. <laughs> and you, you're going to make that bigger, and you're not going to even move the Drytron over. I'm going to move it over. You. <sighs> there we go. Is that is that up to your liking? It's better, yeah. Okay, there you go. Chat, tell us if it was actually better, if you noticed no difference. The choices were an Ignister game and a Drytron mirror, and you chose Drytron, correct. Yes. You gonna cry? <laughs> we wanted to show Bean Soldier. Les Soldier de la Bean. Some cool Drytron stuff going off here. Basic plays, basic plays. Probably gonna end on the classic. The Dragoon, Herald, Ultimateness, pass turn. So there is some stuff that can happen, uh, you know, post board. Um, hasn't happened yet. Oh, there's B, Big B. Hmm. Okay, what's the ban from this deck, buddy? Gage, what was the trade you made? I traded a widespread ruin and a mystical rep panel, which is oddly a twenty-five dollar card unlimited. I believe that. I traded it for a. First edition Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Zack from Lord of the Tachyon oh Galaxy. Oh my gosh. Iconic card, dude. Alright, Drytron going through the motions here, almost wrapping up the turn, it looks like. Unopposed from Mitchell Bonici. Could you imagine if you just slapped down a Nibiru here? Yeah, just like... That's right, I main Dark Ruler. Eat it. Yes, that is... You are you are hearing correctly, Gavin. So, uh, Otakon has been a really excellent experience. Uh, we are situated between people who have been playing Rock Band for probably upwards of 10 hours now and uh, an e-jousting tournament, which is just playing uh, NCS core, but varying the tempo of it. 
I really want to face you in that jousting thing, though. I'm going to grab that joust ball after this? so easy. I'm going to grab the ball so easy. I've always said you're a ball grabber. <laughs> I am. I, I grip it fiercely. Will we see Dragoon on this end board? Place your bets will. now. Yes, oh, sir. Man, yes, sir. Coming in. No we got B. A resolved B with a Moo Beta and the big Dragoon Daddy himself. Big threatening board right there. It's actually to my understanding that both Joshua and Logan are actually good friends. They've known each other through streaming. Oh, wow. So I'm, this is a, a little duke off here. I'm really surprised to hear that because Josh told me that he hates Logan's guts. Oh, did he really he say that? He wants him to go to prison for <laughs> playing the deck wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, I've hardly said Logan played it wrong. That's a pretty good board. Beep, 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 beep. Drama alert. Josh says Logan's board is inadequate. <laughs> All right, the Eva going to pick up the classic orange so we've got what double orange double ava or double orange double herald in hand we've got dragoon uh ultimateness oh sheesh wait i don't see no ultimateness i don't see an ultimateness either you're right wait is this draw phase yeah he's on draw phases of uh Josh's wait turn. sorry i i was just completely out of my mind did logan not end on ultimateness see the thing is is like he he has herald Double Herald, excuse me, and Dragoon. So it's like, that is a little weird, I will say. I, I figured he'd end on a board with ultimateness. No, <laughs> especially with no opposition from Josh, too. Josh going to be able to emergency pick up that gamma. Can't get negated by a Dragoon. Well, it could be. But if it was, uh, that would be very Tech W. Shut up. <laughs> All right. I Sirens do like that. Off. Everyone has negated one cyber emergency in their life. I, I, I did that. that you was a big you mistake, do it once bro. and then you go, okay, you go, yeah, that's never, never going to happen again. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, Burial taking a dump. Big old dump for the Zeta. You know, I think we could actually beat this. It's possible. I, uh, only a I, Dragoon negate. We could, the we could Heralds go are a little spooky, I will Fafnir say. Fafnir into the, uh, the boy, double Zeus. If we're, if we're playing uh, Downard, and then uh, we can just set up our own Herald. That seems very beatable. Active, oh. Oh, and never mind, it looks like we were about to get beated. Oh, wow, that's man, a big one, bro. too. Yeah, Zeta. No Zeta means that it's going to be really hard to establish anything. We have to either raw draw the Medionis or spend our, uh, our Diviner on it. Keep in mind, these players do have a little bit of additional time past the time limit because we were keeping them waiting to get yeah. onto the feature table. All I can imagine is MBT looking at Gage with huge disappointment in his eyes after every joke I make. You don't have to imagine it. That's what's really happening. Every time uh, Gage makes a joke, I look at him with loving, pleading eyes, like the pleading emoji. Can you spam that in chat real quick? That's kind of what this looks like right now. All right, and uh, unsurprisingly, we're doing exactly that. Just faff, go to battle. Says, okay, uh, can you think of what we might be doing next? Big loosey zoosy goosey. Oh, I love, I he love He Zeus. is in there. Dragoon Negate not going to do too much against that. going to still be able to clean it up rather okay, nicely. Okay, here's, here's a question. But the thing is, yes, Do you Herald. fire the Dragoon Negate? I, I mean, yeah, there's one there's Negate. one. And then there, chain it again. Waste the second one. Uh, that's, that's Goon. That's the Goon. Oh, with the even hand, too. But there's a card in Joshua's hand that might turn the tactical tide of this triple battle. Wait, you've been seeing that? Oh, wait, I didn't even know that was in his hand. That's beautiful. Nice orange light. Not going to be able to, is he resolving Eva? I feel like there's been a little. Oh, wait, that wasn't Ava. It was Valor. <laughs> oh, it was Valor. Oh, whoops, I'm stupid. Right. Wait, so if it was Valor, we haven't activated the Dragoon. We have to go for triple attack here. Dragoon can negate it. Oh, then we, then we lose. Yep. Josh says, Josh says that that's was a fun enough. one. Scoop it up. Oh, no. Well, it's really well played by Logan. That yeah, was Logan. Important. It would have been better Logan, if he opened ultimateness, but that was really good. Yeah, too. Logan. I, I was ready to say, Logan, you idiot, make ultimateness. But called by no. double orange uh, dragoon, enough to get it done. Played oh, and Valor. One. Yeah, prioritizing the uh, orange lights in his hand over the, uh, the dragoon, understanding yeah. that if he has a spell or trap card, that's going to blow him <sighs> out like triple tag. Got to have the Dragoon Negate at the ready. Well, that's the difference between the good Drytron players and the bad Drytron players. I read Herald of Ultimateness, and I go, yeah, that's what I'm making. 
any deviation in the game plan is unacceptable. Oh, well, Logan has taken that round one. We'll put that in there. All right, now uh, Josh, is he's got his work cut out from game two. Uh, he has to uh, draw five cards. It's very difficult. Joseph, I'm so hungry. What are we eating after this, bro? We have pizza behind us. Yeah, it's, it's cold pizza, though. Yeah, it's cold pizza. Do, 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 real, do people actually like cold pizza? Like, you have people in the morning, and they're like, yeah, let me, let me bust up this cold pizza. Well, there's pizza. a difference not between even heat it. Like, pizza that's, like, cold because it was in the fridge and pizza that's just been sitting out for six hours. Still, it's gross. Either or, it's like I would No, not no. It. Cold pizza from the fridge is a delicacy. You stop. That's disgusting. No, no. throw it in I the I don't want to hear anything from you. Throw you, it in the I oven. know your problem with the pizza is it doesn't have any sugar in it. <laughs> I mean, if you're getting from pizza, they got sugar in that, <laughs> that sauce is, there. That I, okay, true, yeah. I will say it, though. Chat's going to clown on me here. And then in front of 600 go. people, dude. I love Pizza Hut. I'll say pizza that. Pizza Hut. I love Pizza okay, Hut, bro. Uh, but the, me, their breadsticks are, oh, they're so good, too, man. Pizza Hut is actually, like, falling. I'm going to I'm gonna rattle off some joints, and you tell me, okay? Uh, so Pizza Hut, you think, is goaded. Yeah. Uh, Domino's. Domino's is, like, B tier. Uh, Papa John's. Oh, Papa John is that S tier, man. Uh, that's really all I care about, yeah. Yeah, the Papa's got the garlic uh, sauce, dude. That Papa. Papa's in the house. What about Little Caesars? No. <laughs> I saw my no. favorite tweet of all time is the guy eating Little Caesars, and he goes, Man, Little Caesars tastes great. And you ain't got no woman in your ear telling you it tastes nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I will say, Little Caesars does taste nasty. If you like it, get off the channel. Yeah, seriously. No, Little Caesars is cardboard. Oh, my God. Well, uh, Logan is uh, officially goaded. Droll and Lockbird at resolution he of uh, Thuban. too nice. Uh, or is he goaded at all? <gasps> Josh orange. has the orange. Right. Oh, man. And, but he it's is right. goaded. Oh, he has the orange back. It's too bright. <laughs> it is too bright. <laughs> God, bro. That's a full oh, man. Oh, my God. Major sackage going on right wow. there. Wow. This is this is how we separate the good dry tronists from the bad ones. What do you do here if you're Josh? You I don't know. I gotta, honestly, though, the funny thing is, is both of these players pitch diviner. So like, oh, Logan look at is that hand! Two cards. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that hand! Oh. oh my god, I would lose it if Josh still just normal summoned a diviner, even though he pitched one. Yeah. That would be insane. No. Uh, <laughs> it's not a diviner. That's a, that's a different card. <laughs> What's in his uh, hand? It is not, Skyhawk. Uh, it, it, oh, no, it is. It, <laughs> but it doesn't. It has no negates. <laughs> you just look at your opponent. Uh... Yeah, I, I think we lose here. I don't know. I don't know what's in uh, Josh's hand there. Okay, so Josh's hand is <laughs> Fenton Red Eye. Oh, is it really? So if you if you uh, oh, if you Delta insane. the Alpha, you can reveal the Benten and do nothing because you're under Droll. and then you can make Dragoon, but you have to use the card in hand, so you don't even get a negate. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah. Is this what I fucking do? Uh, like, so is this I, really he, it? So you could faff here, send gamma. It doesn't do anything. There's no way you gets faff. it into rotation. There's no least. way you faff here. I don't know, no dude. I, do I think you just have to make the dragoon and pray. I just, I, yeah. I refuse to acknowledge that as the play. That's so tragic. Josh, though. I'm so so. Josh, I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. so no, so. I'm so sorry, buddy. His opponent put his hands over his mouth. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, we <laughs> I'm the bad one, buddy." <laughs> All right, okay, but that said. All right, big two dude, cards no in Logan's negate. hand. Three cards now. They've got to be good. He I mean, pitched a diviner. So can't that's can't be destroyed by by cards or effects. You know, right? maybe. It's also important to note that off of oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Yo, chat, you can't see it, but Josh just gave us the most defeated look of all time, dude. We are really Yo. Dragoon Gaming. Oh. <laughs> this oh is Yu-Gi-Oh, baby. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Dude, what does this even accomplish? I you just look know. at each other. Oh, they just look at each other. What do they do? 
So now Logan's got to activate another effect so he can pitch the last card in his hand to get over the other dragoon. <laughs> I guess he says, I guess I'll do five, you know? <laughs> Big damage. Huge damage. Oh, man, crazy. I can't believe this, bro. This is so strong. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> That's his it. so the thing is, Josh could easily just, like, Walk the Dragoon into the Dragoon. We can crash here for sure. I don't that's know like, if it's any good because Josh is on one card, it, Logan's like, on two. Oh, man, unless Josh If it's a Drytron off he, the top, it's the crazy. It, it's got to be Diviner. Top deck Diviner. Is that Nova? Nah, uh, Nova. Uh, Josh is the greatest Josh Drytron pilot in the universe. Is that going to get him there, though? The if, one? if there's one Nova? Well, the I mean, the graveyard Nova. is Thuban uh, Delta? Yeah, we're fine. Are we? Yeah, so we go. We, we, get, we get whoever. I guess we get Zeta, even. Um, we're going to go through all four this turn. We go Thuban, pitch the Drytron. Uh, we just add any ritual. We go Delta, pitch the Thuban, uh, reveal, draw a card, overlay for Faf, send the one we're missing, and then we do the whole combo. Okay. All right. Oh, we're gaming. We yeah. really do be gaming. I can't believe it. What a fucking wild game already, dude. I mean, that's one way to Imagine Red Eyes it. Fusion Pass being, like, the meta play. I will say... Um, the, the locals Josh and I were in yesterday, uh, Thursday, I won a lot of games because I opened Fusion. And they were like, okay, I boarded into all my monster negates, and I went Fusion. And they went, I lose the game. Uh, time for game three. You you can't, you know, you can't really discount the power of raw opening Fusion. So, no, sometimes that's just it. You that's look, all you need. You look at it and you go, oh my god, I can't believe I drew the Fusion. And then you go, well, I could just activate the Fusion. All right, the Faf gonna be taking a nice hot steamy dump. Uh, what are we missing? Zeta, right? I think Zeta. Uh, this part's kind of crusty. You want the Faf on field because it's so much material for the repeated ritual summons. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna use Zeta pitching the Draconids in hand uh, to get the Medionis. We can Medi for the Draconids. Is this lethal? I think that's lethal because he paid. Oh no, he, he did, did not. He pay, did not no. pay two. He did not make very Anaconda. No, yeah. You are right. All right, meaty. The big meat. Oh, so it looks like we're going to do two. We're going to end on... Is oh, that what is Dragonids? that? No, I don't think it is. No, that's Draconids. Draconids pass, which is still good because Draconids is a quick effect. So there are Why options. Why did we... I, I we don't even think that up? was a pass. I think that was a scoop. Uh, because, yeah, um, th there's a couple of lines you can do from that position, but um, uh, you're just dead to, like... Zeus, <laughs> you're dead to. Well, a no, Zeus they already went. Battle, they already went battle. Phase oh, they went battle to crash, crash them, right? But still, like Dragonids is a quick effect to pop. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like the thing is. Oh, that's like, why we didn't go and attack. Yeah. Okay, we thought there was a second battle phase. Yeah, I don't didn't think don't that. put you this. Did. Don't, don't put, put this one of. Don't put this one on the YouTube. They don't put those words. In you my said mouth. it was lethal because he already paid for the red eyes fusion. How did, what do you mean he was lethal? He was gonna overlay to Gustav three times. What was the plan, buddy? Shut up, bro. Shut up. Oh my gosh. We're in this together. Okay. He should have negated his own effect. Oh, okay, okay. New meta, I mean, are you up in the uh, you, you in the winner's circle here today? Who, what do you mean he should have negated his own effect? Oh, you mean uh, dragoon, dragoon target the bigger. dragoon target dragoon, uh, then activate dragoon negating dragoon. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. He would have had one card in hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta mark that, Mister. John Bronici here has won his game. And we are going, ladies and gentlemen, on to the game three. That is going to determine which one of these duels is going to hit. Yeah, no, the that's Skyhawk's right. That wouldn't have boosted attack. It's a conditional then. So if you don't destroy the monster with Dragoon, it doesn't gain the attack. Same reason like if you negate an Eldritch in Grave, uh, it just sits at three uselessly and then dies to the Eldritch. Uh-huh. 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 All right. <laughs> I will to the top of uh, Josh's deck a copy of Droll and Lockbird. Oh man, he deserves it, bro. Yeah, he. That was a hard-fought victory. That was that was. Th this game started. Uh, Droll and Lock, Orange, Orange, uh, Zero Card Dragoon. Like, come on, <laughs> what more do you want? Nope. He's trying his best. It's pretty good. I wonder how that other game's going. Me too. I, w I wonder if they're done yet. The Ignister versus the Trizu. That Ad Ignister deck, I hope that it makes it. What a silly, silly strategy.
Any Raid Raptor players been seen yet? Nope. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be mean. No, who's playing Raid Raptors, bro? The only Raid Raptor I'm playing is Ultimate Falcon when I uh, summon it off Awaken the Dragon. Players again ready for their game three here. Are you ready, Joseph? You're hearing our first Lady Gaga from the rock band cabinet. We've heard 15 chop there's suey's. There's Lady Gaga on the rock I'm band I'm learning cabinet. that there's paparazzi on it right now. That's Baby, insane. I, I'm your biggest fan. I'll follow you until you love me. Papa, paparazzi. Where is this? What is this? This is my this new is optimal nice. playmat. It's oh not done yet. Oh, my gosh. Wow. That's so good. Isn't it? I'm buying that. Yeah, everybody should buy it. Optimal Thought Shop. Big Nova coming down. Starting off strong. Yep. Yeah. Hit the tubes. All right, what do we got? Josh looks like he has an orange light in hand. Not sure if it's live yet. Maybe an imperm in the back there, too. Pretty good. <laughs> we got some stuff. We got some stuff. Oh, what is it? Orange lighting it up. Pitch the binder. Ooh! Always has it, bro. That's unreal. Oh, gosh. Never lucky. Oh. We Dude, still might have a game. Comes into play. Still might have a game. Add the biggest Ben. Wow. We had Zeta too. Sheesh. Nuts. Man, dude, how's, how's Call by the Grave still at one, dude? That card's so sacky. You want to put it at zero? I want to put it at zero, or I want to put it at three. So I feel like I don't get sacked every time oh. it's played. Every time you see someone add an orange light off oh, of that a vent, you go, oh, awesome. Oh, you're like, yep. Fantastic. Okay, with the knowledge that the orange light is in hand, when do you fire off the Impro? I, I don't think know. here is decent. I, don't, I think Josh a, is thinking about yeah, it. Here's a really good spot, actually. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Good play, good play. Because you know that they already have the Diviner in hand, but it's just a question of, like, do you think the Diviner outweighs the Faf? And I got to agree. I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. Without access to Gamma, like... You can't detach the Faf either, so you can just send the whole is, Faf, but sure. This is two problems, right? Yeah. Now you have to use the entire Faf to go into Ultimateness, or... You have to use both the Faf and the uh, Diviner to go into uh, Verte. Like it's a, it's just kind of a crunchy situation. If you have another Drytron in hand, it's a terrible infill. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Skyhawk says this is past. You're hilarious, bro. You still see him playing? All right, all right, Skyhawk. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If, if Logan doesn't make any other play this turn, I'll let you live. Otherwise, I'm gonna ban you. Uh, also had Diviner. Well, we did see him add the orange light. I swear, if Logan just passes on this portal, we'll lose <laughs> I mean, okay, here, here, how about this? If if Logan goes Verte, Dragoon from this position, Skyhawk, you can live. Okay, because that's essentially like kind of, that's kind of pass, right? Or ultimateness, pass. But if we see any extension at all, you're dead. Oh, eat it, Ted. Uh, looks I, like he's going to be looping. Not looking good for you, He's going to be looping, yeah. <laughs> oh, Drytron in hand. Get him out of here. Get him out. Sorry, bud. Yep, that is another activation of a card. Skyhawk, do you have any last words, bro? Twenty thirty eight. <laughs> That's a permanent ban, bro. Get the fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Skyhawk remains goaded. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> wow, these are not. I, I'm so sorry to the PPG YouTube. <laughs> these are not viewable. All right, so we've got the Taden. We've got the um. Ben 10. Got the Delta Engrave. Yeah, we have to bring back Ben 10 here, as crusty as that is. It's not crusty, though. I mean, you just reactivate the Meaty, right? Meaty put it back with the sending Mubeda. Yeah, a but bit. Uh, so here's the problem is you want to use the Ben 10 to overlay here into, oh, into B. B. Yeah. Uh, so you have to, like, use the uh, Beta pitching the Faf to do it. If you're doing that, you have to meet first. I mean, this is a, a long chain. 
So it looks like we... Logan's mm, taking uh, his time because there's, there is a lot to think about, too. And also like, there's like 10 minutes left. Yeah, so there's tons of time. There's no reason to rush. Okay, so yeah, we we're going to meet you first. Add it back. We're going to send the Ben 10 uh, for the uh, beta. We're going to shuffle, give it to uh, Josh, who is having to deal with the Gangplank Galleon theme being sped up behind us at 200 decibels, blowing out our ears and our sanity. It's so weird how two hand traps just is not enough to deal with Drytron. I mean, one of the hand traps got negated. Yeah, that's true. But still, like, oh, that's so fierce. Like, this deck is insane. It's quite good. Let's see if he drew the Red Eyes fusion. All right. Meaty. All right. Ultimate is going to get slammed down. Oh, that's no, I to 10. we're going for I to 10. Loop it up. Okay, so Don't now we B. get to make the B. This is like only okay. Only okay? He's gonna get Herald, and that's perfect. Well, that's all you get though, right? Yeah. So we're sending Diviner here. We're gonna send... Ava. If we send Ava, how do we get Herald? I don't know if you can end on it. Oh. We're, I like I, I think this board is going to be either Dragoon or Herald, and that's very beatable yeah. from Josh's position, yeah, okay, even with Ava. two cards in hand. Now, if you see him do what he did last time, it's, it's going to be Dragoon. But I think just because B is such a crazy card, it's got to be a... Uh, wow, the wrap Oh, never mind. Too, yeah. We sat on a Nova for 15 turns. That's fierce. That's insane. Wow. You played that so patiently. Mm -hmm. Bring back the Gamma. Gaming with the Gamma. Ah, wow. So strong. Ooh, I don't know about that. Well, that, that move beta is, in fact, the imperm, so I would rather use it into, is that IP? Yeah, the mask. And I imagine this gamma is going to turn into a Verde Anaconda. Yeah. Wow, we're really going to get everything here. Yep. Oh, wow, yep. Me. Harold? Sure. Wow. Oh, sure. my God. That Nova really did it. Yep. Uh, be on Josh's turn here. Did he not Nova at Did, the start oh, for his Josh Zeta? just drew fucking Red Eyes Fusion. I can't Josh, you're the crackedest man on the planet. That's like, doesn't do anything. It's No, over. it does literally nothing. That's so unfortunate. I don't think he nova at the start of the turn. No, I don't think he did either. Emergency says, yeah, whatever. I don't care. All right, so uh, no, I don't, I don't know if I like this. No Dragoon. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, we should probably stop that then, huh? Huh? Can we check and see if he Nova'd at the start? Oh, nope, there's a the concede. There's a concession. Oh, Both Josh. Both players are very heads up, I think. The thing is, like, I, Josh's hand was in a struggle mode right there to topping Red Eyes Fusion. Yep. It was going to get real rough for him to actually come off on top of that. That's just the difference between, like, Harold with six negates and Harold with, like, four negates. Yeah, right? honestly, though, both of the players really, really skilled, too. I was so surprised Josh was able to clutch out that second game. Yeah, for sure. That looks like, super unbelievable dead. unbelievable play from both players, dude. That was a great top four match. I thought Wasn't Orange still dead? Orange was dead in hand, but yeah. it's not dead as pitch fodder for ultimateness. ultimateness. Yep. Wow. Yep. Both great players, though. Honestly, some incredible gameplay from both of these players. I was certain... I saw Josh play at the locals this weekend and absolutely slam. I thought for sure he was going to take on the whole thing. We were talking about it. Honestly, though, top four, not That's bad. Something. That's, That's, pretty really That's pretty and good. That's pretty good. And losing to your own deck, I mean, bada yeah. bing. Not bad. Not bad. Logan, though, very skilled player, man. Awesome streamer, too. Uh, both these streamers, unfortunately, we've figured out which one is superior. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is um, top four. We've uh, got, like, four minutes left. I think like we're actually just ready for We'll have to see where finals. our next match is and see if we're going to be moving swiftly into the finals. So before we do that, don't go anywhere, guys. Uh, it's going to be a nice finals. We're going to have Drytron guaranteed in the finals and then either at Ignister or Tri-Zoo. So it's going to be awesome. Joseph, you got anything to say to the people? Yeah, I mean, just let us know if there's any uh, decks or archetypes you want us to find for the next round. You know, I think that uh, I think that maybe at Ignister would be fun. Yeah, we, uh, we, we might listen to you Oh, this in time. fact, here comes our judge. Uh, looks like we are going to have a very short downtime. Damn, they really do like to see us, huh? Bonk.
That's it looks cool. like they're actually about to get started here. We're going to give you a short, like, five-minute intermission, guys. Don't go anywhere. Uh, enjoy the uh, the ads that you've seen a bazillion times before. We know you guys love them so much. Yeah, we'll, so we'll yeah, enjoy them, bro.